Hey coders, what's up? Hope you're having a great Friday. In yesterday's lesson, we had created a demo where you could play a movie stream in your app. So let me demonstrate here. That's how that worked. Well, in today's lesson, I'm going to show you a variation where instead of loading a URL or loading a stream off the net, we're going to include the video file into our Xcode project and play it from there. So if you missed yesterday's video, um, just look in the upper right corner here and you can click that to open up that video in a new window. And it might be pretty helpful for you to watch that because I'm going to be just modifying that demo to do today's local video version. I've actually downloaded that video onto my desktop. It's called small.mp4 and you can see it right here. And all I'm going to do is just drag it into uh, Xcode and just I'm going to put it there. So you might have a couple of checkboxes. So for you, this might be unchecked. It says copy items of needed. And what this does is if you have this checked, it's going to make a copy of that MP4 into your project folder. If you leave it unchecked, your Xcode project is just going to reference that video file wherever it may be. So for me, it's on the desktop. Um, this may be a problem if I move the project, let's say I send the project to someone and I forget to include the movie file on the desktop. So usually what I do is I enable that copy items if needed. The second thing you want to make sure is it says add to targets. And in here it lists the AV player demo, which is our demo app here. So we want to make sure that that's checked because that is going to include that movie file into the bundle or the app package in other words. So I'm going to click finish. Let's review the code that we have here in the view did load. So we added the AV foundation and AV kit frameworks to the project here in the project properties. If I scroll down and then in the view controller, we actually imported them so that we could use the classes in this class. And then we created a new AV player view controller object. We declared an AV player property, but it's unassigned right now. And then in the view did load, what we did was we created an NSURL object off of this URL or this string right here. And then we got to check if that NSURL object actually exists because this initializer may potentially return a nil object if it couldn't create that NSURL object. So here inside this if statement, we determine that indeed it, there is an object. And then we create an AV player object from that URL, initializing it with that URL, I mean. And then we assign it into that property we created. And then finally, we assign that AV player object into the player property of the AV player view controller. In the storyboard, we have a play button here. And when that is tapped, what happens is this code gets executed. It presents the AV player view controller. And then when it's finished presenting on the screen, it calls the play method of the player. So in order to play, this movie file that we added into our Xcode project instead of this URL, all we have to do is first create a string path to this file in our project. And then we need to pass that path into an NSURL object. And then the rest is the same. So let's do that now. Let URL path string equals. So what we want to do, remember I mentioned the bundle before? And it's basically when you compile your app, you get an app bundle, which is the package that gets deployed on the app. And right now we're accessing the main bundle dot path for resource. And here we're just going to get the path to that small dot MP4 file. Notice that it returns an optional type string. Okay. So what we're passing in here is the name of the resource, which is small and the type is mp4. So because this returns an optional string object, I'm just going to put that as the type of the constant here so we don't forget. Um, and before we proceed, we should check if that URL path string actually exists. So if let URL path equals URL path string, and then we only want to continue to do all of this stuff if that string was actually valid. So in here, let's say, let movie URL equals NSURL. And instead of string, which we used before, we're going to use file URL with path. And we're going to pass in this string up here, which points to the movie file in our bundle. And notice that this one returns an NSURL object, whereas 
the one we used in the previous lesson where we pass in this, that returns an optional NSURL type. Okay, so file URL with path, and then we pass in URL path, right? So this line is what we're doing instead of this line here. So I'm just going to delete that. And because this guy returns an NSURL object, we no longer have to use this optional binding to check if there's actually an object in there. So I'm just going to copy these two lines of code. I'm going to delete this if statement and then move that down here. So instead of passing in URL, we're going to pass in this movie URL. Okay, and we're pretty much done like that. So let's review what we've done here. First of all, because we've included that movie file into our app bundle, we need to get a path to it. So we call path for resource on the main bundle and we pass in what the name of the resource is and that returns a string representing the path to that resource. Now that string may be optional, it may be nil if it can't find it. So that's why we have to use this optional binding statement to check if it found the path and if it did, we're going to create an NSURL object off of that path. And then we're going to pass in that NSURL object to create our AV player. And then finally, we're passing that AV player object into the player property of the AV player view controller. And that's what gets presented to the user. So now let's run it and see it in action. Okay, so play. And there we go. Now this file is playing off of the uh, local Xcode project. So it won't have to download any files or anything like that. And the user will still be able to watch that video even with no internet connection. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Please subscribe, like, and share the video if you enjoyed it. And have a great weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. Bye.